guys, Shadow the Oblivious here. No, this is a little short notice, but uh, <laughs> no, it's very short notice. Originally, I was going to shoot uh, an episode of Late Night Munchies tonight, but uh, I've run into some uh, budget problems and uh, shall we say technical difficulties? Okay, there I go. Find what I was going to get. Anyways, that's not the point of it. Well, uh, I have made some recent pickups, some on the cheap, some not the cheap. But, uh, one of which is a big middle finger to those, uh, dirty, dirty Amigo scalpers. And you'll see. Well, in my opinion, it's a big middle finger to them. But, uh, anyways, here's some recent pickups I've made, guys. All I, uh, and if uh, put my dinner aside, <laughs> that's not so really important. I think I left my drink downstairs anyway. Uh, let's uh, jump right into things. I uh, hope the music's not too loud. One of my favorite groups, one of my favorite songs. Boy, go for it. Song, no one lives forever. But, uh, here we are. Here's what I got. So far, I, uh, went over just, uh, yesterday to a thrift store. And the original Xbox picked up a couple of games, complete in box, in really immaculate shape. And those are a couple of Konami titles. Yeah, I know. I recently said Konami is going down to crap with it. It's really the same as it's in the combat night, basically. But, first one I picked up was Dance Dance Revolution Ultramix. One. But, uh, yeah, like I said, very clean, very immaculate. Got it for super, super cheap. Only like a few bucks. And then, the other one is a Konami twofer, but Dance Dance Revolution Ultramix 2. I've never been one of those rhythm and dancing game kind of guys per se, because, you know, I failed miserably on easy, on freaking Guitar Hero, on the easiest song. But, uh, there we are. Very clean, very nice. And this one is kind of funny because, look at this! A two-month free trial for Xbox Live, original Xbox Live. Still, mint condition. Still unused. In there. But, uh, anyways, moving on. That's, uh, what I got from the thrift store on the super cheap. Then, at another thrift store today, or actually, did I skip something? Oh, yes. I skipped uh, a copy of James Patterson's Zoo that I picked up from uh, an older gentleman, Doug. He's a real good friend of mine and my friend Amy. But, uh, yeah, he decided, he's already read through it, so let me have a crack at it. I already started watching the series, got very enthralled in it, but I've been missing a lot of the series for the past couple of weeks. So, uh, hopefully I can catch up with the book. 
Yeah, I almost made a skip there, but anyways, today at uh, a thrift store, I picked up a couple of uh, video game related items, and uh, let me uh, just go right into this here first. A Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1 shirt. Very nice shape. A little fading on the back here where it says Activision, EB Games, Treyarch. And a little fading on the front. But other than that, really good condition. Size extra large. It fits. It's a little snugger than my 2XLs, but it fits. Got that. And this. <laughs> Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. Check that out. Ever have the feeling someone's watching you? <laughs> yeah, that fits in real well with me being a YouTuber and all. <laughs> but uh, this one's very nice condition. I got those five bucks bundled together. So about two fifty a piece. This, however, was a little more expensive because it is vintage 1960s. 1968 to be exact. But a Fred Flintstone gumball dispenser. Works and everything. <laughs> yeah, 18 bucks. But I got it for 15. The guy came down about 3 bucks. But happy to add that to my little collection of toys and tchotchkes and whatnot. Also, today, let's see, uh, oh yes, <laughs> at uh, Walmart I picked up for $19 even a Nintendo Selects copy of Super Mario Galaxy. Hopefully you guys can see that real well. Um, since the nerd layer has, uh, you know, been through an overhaul, I'm still just working again on my... because everything's changed now. I'm still working on my lighting again, and still working on, you know, audio and stuff like that. Hopefully, I'm going to be getting my laptop within, you know, next month. Uh, but anyways, yeah, pick that up for 19 bucks even. And uh, let me tell you, before all you anal collectors that sit there going, uh, don't open it, please don't open it, leave it sealed. Hey. Games are meant to be played, chodes. Deal with it. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to rip this fucker open right here, on camera, right in front of you. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh, he's opening it! Oh no! No! Oh god, no! Oh! Deal with it. Booyah! Games are meant to be played, Chodes. Sorry to say. But I ripped that bad boy fucking open. However, the end of this pickups video, the real meat of it. Remember how I said at the beginning, I kind of, in my own personal way, put a big flaming fuck you middle finger to the amiibo scalpers. Those filthy bastards. Because, hey, fuckers, you missed one! Ha 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 Yes! I got a fucking Sonic Amiibo. It was the last one on the fucking shelf. Yeah, Sonic is a little hard. I, I understand he's not super, super rare or anything, but scalpers still go after him pretty much, I hear. A lot they go after him. But... Yeah, he's fucking beautiful. And I know I have said that 
my Samus Amiibo up here is the only one I kind of care to own. But, when I saw him, I could not fucking resist. Yes. And I have been a Sonic fan since I was a lad. Since I first played Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on Sega Genesis. I was hooked for life. Even though the blue blur has kind of been getting shitty game, shitty game, uh, Sonic 06, <clears throat> Sonic boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> you know, the blue blur has not been doing that great these days, and Sega has just been, you know, kind of fucking up. But hopefully Sega, you know, turns things around. And hopefully, there's still that little nugget of hope that Konami turns things around as well because of that little survey and everything. But I hope you guys, you know, sticked around to the end. For those of you that did, I'm very grateful. You mean a lot to me, guys. All my viewers mean a lot to me. Because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here today. I probably would have just continued to just give up on my channel. But, anyways, hell, if it wasn't for a lot of certain people out there, especially a lot of YouTubers who rekindled that fire in my spirit then I probably would have just gone on like a fucking zombie through life until it was over and I was dead, you know, old age. But anyways, thanks again, guys, for those of you who stuck around to the end. Really appreciate it. And as I always say, nerds, nerdettes, Gamers and weirdos of the web, game the fuck on and party the fuck on. I'm out. Later, people. Bye.